Great start to the game. I, th I thought ball was hopping. Giannis, 16 assists, career high. I thought he did a great job finding Dame, too, as well. Bobby was great off the bench. You know, last couple games, he's, his energy has been terrific. So these, these are not easy games to play, but I thought we, we uh, took care of business. I thought everyone contributed on this one, you know. Uh, how about Dre? Dre as well. Love his energy, two for three uh, from the three. So it's good. I think uh, everyone that came in the game, uh, you know, contributed. So not, e you know, San Antonio play hard, but these are not easy games. You know, you can't always play the record, right? But I thought we had great energy to start the game. Uh, we talked about it after the Pistons game. Just what did you think of your guys' professionalism tonight, too? Oh, it was good. I thought, you know, there was a few lapses, I thought, defensively, where the, the you know, transition and the ball was getting to the rim um, too much. But, you know, we started the game. I thought we had was 71 points in the first half. Uh, you know, we, we got to just continue to push that league up. But – you know, give San Antonio credit. They didn't quit either. You know, they kept playing extremely hard. Um, I thought we took care of the ball for the most part. And I think we uh, took what the game gave us. You know, they, they were collapsing on Giannis quite a bit, and he was spraying around and just finding an open man. Uh, still ended up with a triple-double. Um, you know, Dame had 40, Bobby 23 off the bench. So, um, solid game. You know, sometimes you just got to win these games. Um what have you seen from Dame in taking ownership of that first quarter? It feels like he's had a lot of big first quarters in the last week or so. You know, Dame is a rhythm player, and once he knocks down one, you just try to keep feeding him because uh, he has ability, and, and, you know, he shows it every night. He showed it tonight where he could just, you know, knock them down one after the other. So, um, you know, we, we know we can score, but I think defensively we showed some – you know, in that first half, there were some moments, especially the way we started the game, the first quarter, we started defending. Then we had a f you know, few lapses in, you know, during that 48 minutes, but that, I think that's going to happen sometimes in these games. But um, I, I thought the way we started the game on both sides of the ball was uh, is what we needed to do. Um, speaking of Dame scoring, I mean, 20,000 points in a career, um, one of only 51 to do it. I think the seventh point guard only. Um, you played against some of those guys, played with some of them. Dirk has done that. What um, what makes him a unique scorer? I think when you look at Dame, you know, just uh, you know, obviously he can shoot the ball, the ball. He can stretch the floor. He just puts a lot of pressure on your, on your defense. If you bring your bigs up, he can drive around them. He's strong enough and physical enough to finish at the rim. Um, he just has no weaknesses on the offensive end. You know, he has a mid-range. Uh, he can shoot it from deep. So, um, depending on your coverages, you know, if you put two on the ball, then he's a willing uh, passer. But just uh, just the way that, you know, he, he could stretch the floor and shoot them deep, and then, you know, you got to adjust. <laughs> and then he has the, the quickness and the physicality to, to kind of turn the corner. And so – he just puts a lot of pressure on the defense. It, it, he's a tough challenge. I've tried many times in the past. I've had to scout, you know, Portland, and you just got to run bodies at them. That's just the only way. You can't guard them one-on-one, -on -one and you can't really guard them two-on-two uh, two -two in pick and rolls. Uh, you got to just keep, you know, sending two, three bodies at them at all times. But, um, you know, tonight was just – not just about him, but I just I just thought that Giannis did a really great job of just finding Dame, especially in transition. I just I love to see that chemistry uh, continue to build with those two. Uh, Coach, how do you think that having so many days in a row at home uh, early in the season here has helped you guys? I think just being in our own gym, you know, our practices, our shoot, we've been able to get some work on the court and. It, with our practices, we've been able to get some shoot arounds, and then obviously, you know, we're in the we got the best fans uh, in the league, and you know, it's just electric in here. And I thought our guys did a good job of of uh, giving the fans something to, to cheer for tonight. But having that home stretch has been uh, critical for us, especially going into the road trip right now. Uh, we got 
you know, Orlando first, we got to take care of business, and then we got New York twice on the road and then Brooklyn. So um, it's good to have this home stretch right now. Hey, Coach, just it feels like every game it's either Giannis or Dame setting up some record or breaking some record. So when you have Giannis going for 64 and then getting the all-time rebounding record, you have Dame now 20,000 points, dropping 40 for the first time. What's it like just watching that as a coach, knowing that it seems like every game – they're they're breaking something. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's fun, but you know, this is a byproduct of all their hard work. You know, I'm uh, just obviously this is my first time um, being with the the Bucks, and you know, Giannis has been doing this for years, and it's just a credit to all of his uh, sacrifices that he's made, and he's able to reap a lot of the benefits right now. And same with Dame. You know, a lot of this, you know, Dame has been in the league uh, 11, 12 years, so he's been doing this at a high level for so long. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's a treat for us as coaches and fans to, to witness us, witness this up close and personal. But it couldn't happen to, you know, two better guys, I tell you, like high character guys, team first guys. So, you know, I'm, I present the game balls to these guys and, you know, they, they don't even want to accept it, you know, half the time. So it just says a lot about them that, that you know, they, they care about the accolades, but they care about winning uh, more importantly. Hey, Coach, you mentioned Bobby's 23 points tonight. He's really been putting together so many strong games lately. Just what do you attribute that success to in this recent stretch? Against? And, you know, Bobby just, uh, man, he's a grinder, works extremely hard. I, I think, you know, his his work on the old boards over the last couple of games, uh, you know, is, is really won games for us where he's giving us second chance opportunities. And, you know, he obviously he could score the ball, but he, he's willing to do the hard work too. You know, he's he's playing defense. He's he's sprinting back. He's aggressive in his pick and roll coverages. He's a defensive rebounding the ball. And, and then he's on the overboards again. Like he, he's doing it all. He's just not, uh, you know, I'm trying to find ways to reward him sometimes coming out of ATOs because he's working so hard. but. That's on Bobby, man. Bobby is just, uh, you know, he, he just ignites our team with his hustle. Um, and then you have guys out there with Dre, another guy that's just working extremely hard. So I, I just like what, what, we, what we're building here collectively at, at, as a group. But having Bobby coming off the bench, you know, leading that second unit, it's just, uh, just been invaluable for us. Just what you saw from Giannis tonight in terms of how he can impact a game even when he's not scoring in big numbers. Yeah, I mean, again, 16 assists. I thought he did a great job of spraying around. You know, they were collapsing on him. They were sending multiple bodies every time he, he got in the paint or, or attempted to get in the paint and just made the right play. And, uh, you know, I thought we had probably what well, we had 18 threes. Uh, and I think uh, it would be interesting to see how many uh, Giannis – was, uh, you know, accountable for just him uh, just, you know, getting off of it, hitting the open man. And, um, you know, again, Giannis is a winner. He's going to do whatever it takes to win. You know, he's, you know, probably not going to stay at 11 points. But, you know, he, he rebounded the ball. He, he took care of the ball. He, he made our, our team, you know, his teammates better. So, it's a good win, and and now we got a, another test coming up with Orlando. It's going to be a good challenge for us, but I, I you know, we got good m momentum going into this game, so I think everyone feels good right now. Coach, you said earlier, you know, you guys are very high character, and these guys they give back to the community a lot. Last week, you guys hosted some kids from Make a Wish at one of your practices. Just wanted to ask from your perspective, how important is it for you to see your players giving back, and you know, just to give back to the community. You know, you know, like I always say, there's something bigger than basketball, and uh, you know, the Make a Wish Foundation and and the Bucks being able to partner up with them, and having them come in the gym and just seeing the 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 smiles on on the kids' face. You know, these kids are battling; they're they're fighters, and and they're coming in, and uh, you know, all they want to do is be around the the Milwaukee Bucks players and. Uh, it, it was special, you know, and a, a couple of the kids got to stay after and, and shoot on our goals, play one on one with our with our guys and, and mingle and and, you know, just to see their smile on their face and, and then the gratitude from the parents uh, just 
they were just so, you know, appreciative of the opportunity. And so, you know, those, those things are, is what it's all about. You know, when anytime we can give back and, um, you know, we got to do more of that, I always say, you know, we, we got to do a lot more of that.